In this short video, we will show you how to recognize and understand autonomic dysreflexia. Before a spinal cord injury, your brain would get a signal from your body that it has pain or discomfort. After a spinal cord injury, this autonomic reaction may be blocked at the level of your injury and the body can no longer send these messages to the brain. During AD, the discomfort below your injury turns on autonomic nerves that trigger your blood vessels to squeeze tight, forcing your blood pressure to rise. If your blood pressure is between 20 and 40 points higher than normal, then you may be experiencing autonomic dysreflexia. Your brain senses this and sends signals back through your body, trying to lower your blood pressure. At the same time, your brain sends a signal to your heart, telling it to slow down. Your brain will send messages to the blood vessels in your face, neck, and upper chest. This can make you look flushed or blotchy. Your brain tries to tell the blood vessels in your legs and abdomen to stop squeezing, but again, the injury has blocked those messages. So, your blood vessels keep squeezing and your blood pressure can continue to rise. If this is not stopped, it can lead to seizure, stroke, and even death. How do you know if you are experiencing autonomic dysreflexia? Some common symptoms are high blood pressure, a severe headache, sweating above the level of your spinal cord injury, blotchy skin, a slow heart rate, the feeling of worry. Often, a severe headache is a person's first sign that they have AD. Bladder problems are the number one cause of AD, and it may be caused by something as simple as a kinked or clogged catheter tube. It may be that your urine bag is full. Ask your nurse about other things related to your bladder that could cause AD. However, if your catheter is blocked, change it immediately. Bowel issues may also cause autonomic dysreflexia. Constipation, hard stools, and impaction can all cause AD. If AD occurs during your bowel program, there are lubricants with numbing medications that may help. Talk to your doctor about this. Anything that could cause you pain or discomfort below your injury can cause autonomic dysreflexia. That includes bed sores, skin irritations, scrapes, bruises, even an ingrown toenail can cause AD. Be aware of how your clothes fit. Keep them from bunching up. Smooth out bed sheets and keep things like your wallet, phone, or other hard objects from putting pressure on your skin. For some, sexual activity can lead to autonomic dysreflexia. Some medications, herbal remedies, and recreational drugs can also increase your risk for AD. It is important that you know what to do if you suspect you are experiencing AD. First, sit upright. Raise your head up and lower your legs. This will help lower your blood pressure. Next, Loosen any clothes or items around your body that may be tight or constrictive. This includes abdominal binders, bras, belts, shoes, socks, and stockings. Finally, find the problem that's causing the issue. Start by checking your catheter. Remove any kinks, or if your bag is full, drain it. If you experience AD during a bowel program and you're using digital stimulation, stop immediately and do not resume until your blood pressure is normal. You may have to perform a rectal exam and clear any stool in the rectum. Thoroughly check your skin for any bruises, sores, or scrapes that may be causing your blood pressure to rise. Take your blood pressure. If it's 20 to 40 points higher than your normal blood pressure, you may be experiencing autonomic dysreflexia. If you're not able to find the cause of your AD, seek medical treatment. 
You may need to call 911 if you're not able to correct the situation and bring your blood pressure down to normal. If you seek medical help, make sure to bring your AD wallet card with you. Many physicians are not familiar with AD, and your AD wallet card will be a valuable resource. Autonomic dysreflexia is a serious condition and can be life-threatening. However, if you recognize the symptoms and take corrective steps quickly, you will likely be able to control and correct it.